Hi everyone, hope that you all go through our previous video on ISO 22000 standard. In last video we discussed about the clause 4, context of the organization. So today you are going to learn about clause 5 leadership section. Ok, so let's start with first section 5.1 leadership and commitment. The standards state that the top management shall demonstrate leadership and commitment with respect to the food safety management system. You may confuse with the word top management. As per the ISO 22000 definition top management is the person or group of people who directs and controls an organization at the highest level. Top management should present during the third party audit as an auditor will expect to judge the clause through the discussion. In 2005 version this clause included as management responsibilities. The previous version of ISO 22000 already included examples for top management leadership. They are Proving that food safety is supported by the objectives of the organization. Communicating with the interested parties. Establishing the food safety policy. Conducting the management reviews. Assure the availability of resources. Planning food safety management system to meet the standard requirements. Define the responsibilities and authorities. Appointing food safety TEM leader. Additionally, the 2018 version states that top management shall also ensure that the strategic plans of the organization food safety objectives are compatible and integrated within the organization. Ensure the integration of the food safety management system requirements into the organization's business processes. The next section is 5.2 Policy. This section is subdivided as establishing and communicating. 5.2.1 Establishing the food safety policy. Previously this requirement was state in 5.2 clause as food safety policy. Practically this requirement has not changed with respect to the previous version. Let's clarify the term policy. As per the ISO 22000 definitions, a policy contains the intention and direction of an organization as formally expressed by its top management. The food safety policy is established, implemented and maintained by top management. The standard emphasis that the food safety policy should appropriate to the purpose and content of the organization and the must include commitments to provide a framework for setting and reviewing objectives of the FSMS. Satisfy applicable food safety requirements, including statutory and regulatory requirements and mutually agreed customer requirements related to the food safety. Address internal and external communication. Continual improvement of the FSMS system. Ensure competencies related to food safety. This is an example for the food safety policy with above mentioned criteria. We, at the Food Desk Private Limited aim towards providing bakery products to our valued customers, ensuring food safety and quality. Our team of motivated professionals with strong employer-employee relationships and a mutual understanding with stakeholders will strive towards conforming to rapidly changing national and international statutory and regulatory requirements as well as mutually agreed customer food safety requirements. This is established out by continuous reviews and continuous improvement of the food safety management system of our production facility and process. Once established the food safety policy, it should approve by the top management, and it must be communicated as per clause 5.2.2. Food safety policy must be communicated to all interested parties including operators, and also customers and external providers on request. Food safety policy could communicate in any or all of the following ways. Company website or internet site. Notice board. Induction training. At the recruitments. Food safety policy must be available and maintained as documented information. Don't forget your food safety policy must be reviewed periodically by top management to ensure it remains applicable to the context of your organization. 
5.3 Organization Roles, Responsibilities and Authorities are described in this last section. In previous version these requirements were stated in 5.4 and 5.5. According to this section the top management shall ensure that all responsibilities and authorities have been assigned and understood. This can be easily implemented through a job description of all staff of the organization with their duties and authorities described. Nominating a food safety team leader is a specify requirement in ISO 22000. And the food safety team leader is responsible to ensure that the system is established, implemented, maintained and updated when required. Defining roles, responsibilities and authorities will also make it easier for an external auditor to have a clear point of content at the third-party audit. Report on the effectiveness and suitabilities of the FSMS and make continual improvement as determined by top management. Ok now are you able to list what are the documented evidences needed for FSMS as per the ISO 22000-2018 Clause 5. food safety policy. Two job descriptions for all staff members. Three appointment letters of food safety team. Four appropriate documented information as evidence of relevant training and competency for food safety team. Well, we hope that you got an idea on clause 5 from this episode. Stay tuned with us, the next video is on clause 6, planning. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe us to watch more videos like this.